Hello and welcome my fellow homo sapien friends and today we are doing our review video on A Way Out. Now I've recently completed this with my fiance. A Way Out was an exceptional joyride with never a dull moment to re or time to relax. You start off in prison with Leo currently serving 8 months of his sentence. He meets his new cellmate Vincent, which are the two characters you get to play as, Leo and Vincent. Now with them both being different characters, one being very smart and tactical with the way he approaches problems and the other one just going in all guns blazing, it's good to see which one of your friends will be the most sensible with the way they approach stuff. The pair must come together and escape the prison to right their wrongs. Now, I don't know if you know about the story already, so close your ears now if you don't want to hear the spoiler. But basically, you've both been put in prison for a crime you didn't commit by the same guy. Now, this is quite funny because obviously this bonds you together, but this isn't the only similarity between the two characters. They also both have a wife and a child. Now, obviously this is another similarity that they both share, so it makes them quite relatable and it gives them sort of a goal and ambition to be together and help each other out throughout the entire story. The game requires you to work together either online or offline using the AI or a friend. You cannot progress through the game without planning, puzzle solving and being a team while on the run from the law. Your choices and actions affect the story with sometimes serious consequences. The story in A Way Out is absolutely phenomenal, so in depth with deep character backgrounds that really rope you into their lives and get you attached to Vincent and Leo. I had a problem with the driving mechanics, I felt like they were very temperamental, whether it was by car, bike or boat. I felt that one wrong move and you'd be sliding forever, and honestly, like the police on the first chase were absolutely brutal. Like you think the police in GTA are pretty pretty bad, but honestly, these were savage as hell. Like they did not let up, and honestly, like my fiance kept was playing as Leo and you have to shoot them. And it just didn't feel like she was hitting them. And honestly, it was it was just insane. Uh, a way out is a great game for two friends to see how well you can work together. A great team building exercise game, I believe. And finally, a game with a two player couch co-op Finally, they've added this into a game. Honestly, there are so many little games out there with this feature in their games anymore that it's become really annoying, especially for me and my partner, who both really love and enjoy playing video games. Now, I don't know why this is. I'm assuming it's because gaming console companies want you to buy more consoles so that you can play together like that, which is not really fair, to be honest, because it means that the people who can't afford to get two consoles or don't want to get two consoles miss out on a lot of fun with their partner or friend or anything like that, which is annoying. I do hope they'll be bringing more games, not just this company, but all games in general, a co-op couch gameplay sort of style because honestly it's really fun and I don't know why they stopped it. The game was absolutely brilliant. It felt like you were watching a film but you were the director. You made the choices of whether to be smart about something or just go in all guns blazing. Now this is a great feature in a game and it improves the story tenfold and I'm hoping that we can see more games similar to this from the company Haze Light as well. I love a good story game. Now, I don't know if you know, but in games, I really love a good story. Now, this game absolutely nails it perfectly with an amazing ending, spoiler alert, with a twist at the end. And oh my God, me and my partner literally gasped because we could not believe what we were seeing. I'm not gonna spoil any more for you there, so. If it did spoil it a little bit, I do apologize, but I did give the long pause for you to stop the video and skip ahead. I'm trying not to give too much away with the game because I do want more people to go out and play this because I do think it's an absolutely fantastic game. I'm definitely going to give this game a 9 out of 10 just on its story and co-op based gameplay. Now a lot of the gameplay itself requires you to work so well as a team that you have to literally be spot on with each other. You cannot be like out of sync for like one second. You have to be one person basically and it that's an excellent feature in the game as far as replayability i would probably only give this game probably two or three times before it gets boring but it may be a game that you might want to put down and then come back to six months maybe two eight months later have another go 
just because the story itself was really good but with its like limited amount of choices and replayability like it's it's, it's not really a game that might let you make complete different changes that like, there's only really two endings I don't know it's I mean it's your choice really on how many times you want to play it it's just that I, I thought I'd voice my opinion that probably two or three times was more than enough to get it platinum. Now, my friend at work has already platinumed this on the PS4, so, and he's only played it like one and a half times, so it just gives you an indication on how easy it can be. Now, the game itself, probably five or six hours long. Now, being that most films are about two and a half, three hours long, to say that this is like a film and it's five or six hours long is not bad, to be fair. I mean, it, I'm glad that I didn't pay like 50 quid for it. I don't think they could have got away with charging that, but they didn't, so that's fantastic overall I'm really satisfied with the game and I honestly want to see more from this company and more games like this more story based driven games with choices and maybe a bit more cooperability so I don't even know if that's a bloody word you know I just thought I just thought I'd say it it just kind of went well with the smoothness so but yeah so I am gonna leave the video there sorry if I've spoiled anything for the video on in the video for anyone I did try my best but it happens sometimes so if you did enjoy the video please give it a like and subscribe and don't forget to hit the bell it's very important to hit that bell because sometimes youtube doesn't really post my videos to some of my subscribers so if you have been missing my videos i do apologize it's not me it's definitely youtube so please hit the notification bell if you don't want to miss anything. So I'm going to say thank you for watching this video. I do appreciate every time you watch one of my videos. And honestly, from the bottom of my heart, I do really love it. And I love you. So please take care of yourself and others. And bye bye for now.